Hi, Todd Orchard here with GTL Real Estate. Uh, wanting to uh, spend uh, just a bit of time this week uh, on a frequent topic we talk about, which is repairs on your properties. It's, it's a big uh, topic all the time just because it comes up so much in what we do on a day-to-day -day basis here in taking care of your properties. Uh, rent collection is probably the biggest thing we do, and right behind that is, uh, is repairs and maintenance. Um, so a few different things I wanted to go over. The first uh, was getting estimates. So when there's uh, either a, uh, a cosmetic issue or a, a non-required repair, uh, something that we don't have to get done right away, uh, or maybe there's several different options for how to get a problem resolved, then a lot of times what we'll do is we'll get you an estimate. Uh, for example, let's say you have a problem with the air conditioning system at your house. A lot of times what the vendor will do is give you two different options. He'll say, you know, option A is I can fix this problem temporarily and it'll probably recur in six to 12 months and that'll cost, you know, $400. Or I could replace the whole system and that would cost, say, $3,500. So they give you the, an estimate for each different option and let you pick which one you want to do. So that's just an example of where we might do estimates outside of just uh, cosmetic work. Um, so when that happens, you have to understand that there's a time limit on that estimate. Uh, we sometimes get in these disputes where a vendor will issue an estimate. Um, you know, let's say an owner wants to get a fence put in the backyard of their house uh, just to increase the property value, make it more desirable for renters. So we'll send a vendor out and do an estimate on that and they come back and let's say it's a $3,000 job. So, you know, the owner says, well, let's hold off on that. And then a year goes by and the owner calls back and says, you know, I'm ready to get that fence installed. And we call up the vendor and he says, well, you know, labor rates have gone up. Lumber is more expensive right now. It's now a $3,300 job. Uh, you know, sometimes we get an owner who's a little bit upset about that. Unfortunately, you know, those estimates, they're really only uh, valid for a short period of time. And you know, different vendors have different times on that. I can't give you an you know, exact timeline on, you know, this. You know, this is always you know two weeks or whatever it may be. Um, but generally, if you're going more than you know a month out, you can pretty much guarantee that that estimate is no longer considered locked in, uh, because things change. You know, especially right now with this current uh, economy, labor rates are skyrocketing, especially for uh, for low skill labor. Um, you know, different materials costs could be changing because of the tariffs and everything that are going into place. So there's a lot of things fluctuating. Prices can vary a lot. So, you know, if, if uh, several months have gone by since you've received an estimate, pretty much uh, can guarantee the estimate's going to change somewhat. So it's not locked in at that point. So if there's something that you want to get done and you like the price that you've been quoted, you probably want to go ahead and get that done and not delay it for too long because you know, at least in the, the way the economy is right now, the price is likely to be higher a year from now than it is right now. Inflation in Atlanta right now is averaging about 3%, which is a lot higher than it was just a couple years ago when it was pretty much flat. So, you know, and that's, that's an average value across all goods and services. Some things are a lot higher than that. So, you know, you want to lock in a price if you like that price and don't put it off too long. If you, if you think you're getting a good deal, don't wait if you if you don't want to risk that price going up. Uh, the other thing I wanted to go over was uh, warranties. How long is a job warrantied at a property? And this will vary depending upon the work done. And a lot of that is because of the materials warranty. Um, you know, an air conditioner will, will have a different warranty period on it than uh, say a, a plumbing fixture, you know, a faucet. Um, some, some faucet companies will give you a lifetime warranty. Um, others will give you six months. So, you know, it just depends as far as the, the materials, excuse me, the materials warranties can vary a lot, even on the same item. Uh, and usually the more expensive it is, the better warranty you're going to get. And usually on rental properties, you're not throwing the most expensive stuff in just because tenants tend to damage things. So usually you're not going to get that, you know, lifetime guarantee part put in the property because it's just not cost effective for you. Um, but, uh, you know, the the, the labor is a different story. Usually our vendors um, will warranty their labor for six to 12 months. You know, that's generally what you can expect uh, on, when they're doing work on your property. So if they go out to do, uh, let's say they replace a toilet at your property and three months down the line, you know, it's leaking because there was something done wrong with the installation. You know, they'll go out and they will, they will take care of that free of, call, free of charge. Um, but, you know, if they go out and replace your toilet and two years later it's leaking at the base, that's probably not something that they did. 
So we sometimes have owners trying to get us to pressure the, the vendor to warranty this work several years uh, after the work has been done. Vendors don't warranty stuff that long. You know, even the materials don't get warranted that long usually. Uh, there's very few things that have that long of a warranty, so we're not able to guarantee it for that period of time. Um, but you know, if a vendor goes out to your house, does some work, and a few weeks later, if the problem is right back again, uh, and it's you know it's the same issue, the vendor will generally warranty that, and we hold them to that. We make sure they're not charging that, uh, and usually they don't try. You know, we we work with reputable vendors, so they know that they're not going to. Uh, uh, be able to charge for that same thing if they're going back out to fix something that they should have fixed right the first time. Um, last thing is uh, uh, repeat trips um, for uh, the same job and this is kind of different than the warranty thing. This is an issue with uh, how many trips it actually takes to get a job done. Um, so obviously vendors aren't able to keep every part that they need on their truck. There's just not enough room. There's just too many different things that can break in a house. So they do carry some of the most common things they deal with. You know, they've got some electrical outlets they keep and blinds and some other things that are pretty common that they might have in their truck all the time. Uh, but there's other things that obviously they just can't. Um, and there's just so many different items. You know, for example, fixing appliances. There are so many different appliances out there with so many different parts. Usually the only thing you can do is order them special order. So what happens in those cases is we dispatch a vendor to go out and diagnose the problem. So they go out and let's say it's an oven that's not working. So they get to the property, they find that uh, there's a control board on the oven that needs to be replaced. Well, that has to be ordered, so it's not something they can just pull off their truck and do while they're there. So they've taken that trip out to the property, that has caused them to incur cost and labor uh, fuel, everything else that, uh, that is involved in making that trip. So there's going to be a second trip when they have to go out to actually install the control board once it comes in from the manufacturer or the, uh, the third-party vendor that, that's building a third-party part. So they're going to be making two trips for that repair. It's the only thing they can really do because they have to make the first trip to diagnose the problem and then because it's a special order part they're going to have to make that second trip. A lot of owners try to you know, pressure us on, on that and say, well, only charge me for one trip. I can't find a vendor who's only going to charge for one trip when it takes them two. You know, especially in today's market where vendors are in such high demand, you know, unskilled labor is, is so high cost, nobody's going to do that free trip. So you know, they're going to charge for going out both times. Now they might discount the second time, some vendors might. Others don't because they know they're in just such high demand that they don't have to. You know, roofing vendors, you can hardly hire a roofing vendor right now because they're in such high demand with new construction. So they're going to charge you for everything they can get, they, they can justify. Um, but sometimes you'll get a vendor who will kind of discount that second trip. They'll try to do that for us, but they're going to charge for both of them no matter what, just because they have that cost. You know, they're having to pay an hourly employee to go out. They're paying for the, the mileage, the wear and tear, the fuel on the truck that's going out. Um, and, you know, sometimes, you know, they're having to make trips back and forth to, to Lowe's or to, you know, the wholesale lumber supplier or whoever it may be. So, you know, if there's multiple trips involved, generally the vendor is going to charge for those multiple trips. That is a reasonable expense. It's not something we can pressure them to waive. That's just a cost of doing business, unfortunately, with having a rental property. Um, so, you know, we always bid out our work to try to find you the most reasonable price vendors possible. Um, you know, so you'll usually find that you pay a lot less with our vendors than you would for someone you could find on your own. Uh, but we still can't, you know, we still can't get those kind of discounts where they're not going to charge for a multiple trip uh, work, uh, work order. That's, that's just something that they are going to charge for. It's just part of that business. So I just wanted to clarify those few items. If you have any questions about any of that at all, uh, send us an email, support at gtlrealestate.com, and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you.